the labor movement uh, is a strong advocate for education and training opportunities, not just for our own members, but for all workers. In particular, um, uh, unemployed, marginalized workers. Uh, and that's based on our belief in social justice, that all workers should have uh, access to skills and training opportunities, and a belief that that training and education should be much broader than just uh, firm specific skills. Uh, it should be about human development and skills that are transferable for uh, workers uh, so they can participate fully in all aspects of uh, society. In the mid-2000s, we started advocating for new agreements, labor market agreements, for people who couldn't access training through EI. And in 2008, uh, the federal government signed labor market agreements with the provinces they're specifically for marginalized, unemployed groups of workers, Aboriginal peoples, persons with disabilities, newcomers, et cetera. These training programs under labor market agreements improved people's employability, found them work, but also improved their family and life situations as well. Then in the 2013 budget, the Harper government came out of nowhere with this Canada Job Grant Program. They consulted perhaps a couple of large employers, uh, totally flipped the model of the labor market agreements upside down. So the Canada Job Grant is about employer needs. So it's about uh, filling labor shortages, improving productivity, improving competition. It's not about uh, long-term human development. So it's a very much a one-sided type of approach. It's very market-driven, uh, firm-specific needs uh, and so it sees skills as a commodity. What I think is interesting is that this particular conservative government still sees a role for the state in training. It's just a different role. They're taking the money, the public money from the labor market agreements and essentially giving it as a subsidy to employers to meet employer and market needs. Uh, in terms of uh, our response, the uh, labor movement um, worked with uh, many allies, community organizations that delivered programs under the labor market agreements. We worked with uh, the, the, the people who are serviced by those organizations and the labor market agreement funds. We created a national coalition. We provided some resources for research, media, etc. The pushback had some impact. The federal government in particular, uh, because all the premiers were against it, um, uh, compromised on a number of elements, we are hopeful that most of the provinces will be able to save those labor market agreement programs. I think I'll just conclude by saying that building that kind of national network, given that the federal government has canceled all formal partnerships between civil society groups, labor, and others, of all of those formal partnerships, as others have said, it's essential that we continue to build those networks and make them stronger and more sustainable.